great, they said. It'll be different, they said. And it'll be sooner over than you think, they said. I was kind of afraid, but excited, coming to Oklahoma City and leaving my home behind. But home. What means home for me? I think I always had a tightened opinion about what is home for me, but I was blind. And now I see clear. Home isn't just the place you were born, grew up and lived. For me, home is where your heart belongs. I've been abroad as a teenager before, but it is different when you have been grown up. You see things differently and realize what really matters. People come into your life and go, leaving nothing but shadows behind. But some will make their way into your heart. On the third day of my exchange semester, I met McCann. She was different than all the students I met the days before. She was my roommate and she walked her way into my heart. There were the little things that mattered. Trying to teach her German by writing a new word on the fridge every day, going to a vegan restaurant together just to make me happy, or watching the cat in the hat, which I hadn't known before, all together. But there was more. This isn't just a house in a forest in a small village in Colorado named Bailey. This is a home where McCann's family welcomed me over Thanksgiving. Although she herself was sick and couldn't come, I stayed with them the whole holiday. From the first minute, they made me feel at home. It was all about coming together, getting to know each other, especially since we've never seen the other before and enjoying a peaceful Thanksgiving together. This is what family is like. This is what family is for. This is what home means for me. So maybe for you, home is where you're born, but for me, it is where your heart is. That means I will leave the United States, but a small piece of my heart will remain here with the friend I made.